guys, well, I kill. I don't know if you guys, the smaller folks, have the same problem as me. Either A, you're cheap, or B, you just have to figure out, I guess, how to get water to your animals in the winter. What we've actually gone to is we hooked this unit up to the compact tractor. Uh, it's just a regular old lift all from Tractor Supply, 275 plastic poly tank, whatever you want to call it. And we were running this valve over here. We were running this valve here right into the water tanks. But that made it really difficult for me trying to get real close with the chains and the tractor. And you always end up catching the fence. And that always kind of put me in a bad mood. So I went out this fall, oh, late summer, I guess, and I got this cam lock 20 foot set. Got it on Amazon, took forever to come in. And it finally got here and I forgot all about it until yesterday. And I figured wife's doing all the videos for the farm and the homestead. So I said, I guess I'll do one. So I guess what I'm doing is just show you folks that don't quite know what you're doing or just learning, nothing wrong with that, is your standard cam lock is, you see these two little locking mechanisms, they kind of close in, that's what gives you your seal. And it kind of goes over that nipple that's on there and it locks it into place, you don't have any leakage. So to make life easier, what I figured was, we'll hook it on, And when they're new, they're always very difficult. Actually, not too bad. And that's nice and tight. You work your valve in the fall now before anything gets froze up. So if you have to put something on it to lubricate it, you can. Just work it a couple times. Yep, she's in good working order. Now come this uh, winter, when you can't run water lines or do everything else the way you normally do it during the summer, you just hook this under the back of the compact tractor over there and you put it on the small tractor and you just can kind of go wherever you want and uh, you hook it on your three-point hitch and always make sure your ROPS is up, don't do like I do. And uh, you kind of put this on, fill up maybe 100 gallons, 150 gallons about here, you well, know, in here someplace. And then at that point you got more than enough to fill for the cows per feeding. One thing I will never, or I should say, always do is empty this tanker out every single time you use it. Only put in what you need. If you have an extra 10 gallons in there, dump it. Dump it on the ground. Because you freeze this valve up, most of them are plastic. There's no metal in them. They're all nylon and plastic. If you get any ice in there, you can't, you can't unbreak it. You'll either snap the handle off, or if you go in there to heat it with a torch, I've done this, and you melt them and it never works right again, you gotta get another one. So, I guess, I guess next uh, trick is see if it still holds water and get ready for fall. So, all right guys, see you later.